In this video, let's talk about how to handle dejection and frustration, which is very common if you are starting a business or in your career or in school. If you're trying hard and you're on your way to success, you're going to meet dejection and frustration on your way there. So it's actually a good sign many times. It just doesn't feel like it. And you'll notice that when we go through how to deal with it, many of the steps of dealing with it will repeat and they'll be similar to steps that you will take to dealing with anger or other issues. So how do you deal with it? Well, first you identify and acknowledge this emotion that you're having. Then you think back and you track back to the source. And then you ask yourself, is it rational? For example, the very common reason for feeling like a failure and feeling frustrated is maybe you set really aggressive, ambitious goals for yourself. But the reality is that it takes most people much longer to get to those goals. So it's something that you did for, to yourself and you're not actually failing. If you realize that, a lot of the frustration immediately goes away because you realize, oh, I'm actually on the right track. And a lot of times this kind of a emotion can be confused with similar emotions. Anger and frustration and dejection, they can feel very similar. So you want to be accurate that you are in fact experiencing that emotion. And then you ask yourself, is it long term or short term? If it's just that day, it's easy to fix. You can listen to music watch motivational videos, go to exercise, talk to people nearby, like family members, you just change your body posture to more confident. And a lot of these things will immediately make you feel better. Those are things you can do in the moment, like right now. If you have more of a longer term issue, okay, that's harder to solve. So let's talk about how to solve the longer term frustration and dejection, because honestly, it is a long term thing. If you're starting a business, it can go on for months or years. Same with school, same with career. So if you're prone to feeling frustrated, dejected, how do you solve that? You want to get positivity in your life. You want to surround yourself with a support network of friends or peers that help you when you're down. And by that same token, get rid of detractors, people who are negative influences in your life who tell you you can't do it, you're stupid, or they don't say you're stupid, but like they make you feel like that or they drain your energy in some way. You got to get rid of those people if possible. And you have to realize if your source of your frustration and dejection is failure, the best way to fix failure is success. And I know that's a silly thing to say, but it's true. You basically just have to make sure that you get to success faster. The things you can do is begin working with a coach to help you get to where you're going faster. Coach can help you either reassess your goals because sometimes a feeling of frustration comes from bad work and failure because you're working on things that are not really your goals and so you're not that motivated or that interested. And so, of course, you're producing subpar bad quality work because it's not really your thing. So you can reassess your goals or the strategy and the steps to get to your goals or the execution of your goals. And really, can you expect less? Like if you're starting a business, and I see this all the time, People give it a half-hearted effort. They try for a month. They try for a couple of weeks and then they start crying. Oh my God, it's failing. I don't know what to do. Nothing's working. Yeah, because most people, they should expect like a year for things to think, start working. So it's really an expectation issue. So sometimes if you expect less, you're just going to avoid that feeling of frustration and dejection altogether. So when you assess this emotion and you say, is it rational? Did you base your projections on hype or some outlier success? If you think you can start a business and you look at, well, Mark Zuckerberg built Facebook so I can do anything. Well, Mark Zuckerberg is not a typical situation. So you have to look at what happens in most situations and assume that something similar is going to happen to you. Hopefully you'll do better, but it's going to set your expectations in a way that are not going to lead to feeling of stress or dejection in the first place.